Hello, YouTube. This is Idris Swats. You know, you can find my Twitter at, uh, and get fucked Twitter. It's don't even need Twitter. Um, basically, something's dawned upon me tonight, and, um, What's dawned upon me is that people put a little bit too much important feelings and, 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 and emotion into into the cyber world. And one of the reasons that it really bothers me is because it's like this, right? Half the cunts you talk to on the internet are never really never really as smart as they make it seem like I can't tell you how many countless 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 young females I've met that are beautiful but they're dumb as shit I mean really dumb as shit it, it doesn't make any fucking sense I ask myself why does it why does anybody cry over the fact a girl or guy doesn't like them when truthfully Half of the time, these are the people that you don't want to be with at all. Um, you know, I've been single for about... Not kind of females that i played around with for about four years. And I can tell you... I can tell you my numerous ventures into um into chasing tail you know trying to fuck a bitch I don't use the word bitch um that it's so fucking hilarious to, to meet someone who by um by their physical attributes would seem you know would seeming seemingly enough seem to be a little bit a little bit more intellectual than they see, and, and I know a lot of you are saying, you know, "Don't judge a book by its cover." I do that a lot. Um, it's done to me uh, sometimes without even knowing. You know, I walk into a store, a big black guy, you know, some security after him, or even my fucking puppy. So he didn't want to come over here. You know, saying he fucking angry right now, cause um, man, fuck that nigga. Um, point is, it's like. Basically, I mean, I'm not saying that, you know, you should judge a book by its cover. But what I mean to say is that if somebody... I, I think that the attention is captured towards females who don't exactly matter. In a sense that if you're going to invest time, because we don't have time. Time time would seemingly enough be a commodity amongst all humans and we seem to think that we have a lot of it we have a lot of time for this and that and it's not true um we have about 60 years guaranteed to us supposedly of course as you know if you believe in a religious term then god has never told you the day or the time if you believe in a human term a scientific term then you should know that at any given point in time you, you know something can go wrong and you just die and um you know with all of this in mind I realize that the girls who matter most are usually the ones not in spotlight and um I say this because over 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 a year now over a year and a half maybe two years I've talked to a bunch of different girls and and um it's sad because I notice that the ones who are who are by term pretty to society as in in society she's recognized as beautiful um they don't seem to hold anything that I give a fuck about um I mean that I mean to say that in the sense that uh you know that a conversation with them is, is like talking to Sim Simi like or, or talking to somebody I don't give a fuck about and I don't, I don't say that, you know, to, 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 to offend anyone. I don't say that to offend anyone. I say that because 
to me it's the truth. And then I find that the girls who, who do matter, who are usually not beauty queens or not in the most popular circles or crowds, they seemingly enough hold what I want. However, half the time I think with my penis. It's true. Guys, we think with our penises. Most of us. We don't we don't notice it. You know, um like if you've ever walked into a room with a bunch of chicks and like and like and like um I'm trying to think of a good example. See, I don't, I don't write none of this shit. Um it just comes out as it is. This is just ranting for me and uh uh, okay, point loss. Getting back to what I was saying earlier, though. I think that as a human race, we need to realize that that not so much intelligence. Intelligence shouldn't be the characteristic that defines a relationship or defines who seeks out a relationship. But in my personal theory, my personal values, and my personal my personal endeavors, I realized that intelligence is one of the keys to having a successful relationship. If your bitch is stupid, give her up. She's never going to go anywhere. If she's ignorant, give her up. She's not going to go anywhere past that. Um, I see them like, you know, I walk on World Star and I see these girls. Uh, what's, what's one chick? I'm uh, Miss Prophet. One, two, fucking three. And she just hates black men. And, and I'm asking her, like, mm. I'm just looking at her videos and, you know, I'm like, what black men do you talk to? Do they all reside in like one, like ignorant fucking circle you just can't get out of? Cause you, you like seriously, I wouldn't direct this video to her, but it's just a point proven to say that at the end of the day, her view is shared by tons of other black women. I never understood this shit. Um, did they say all black men are the same and this and the third and we all thugs and bitch? That I don't know what you're talking about. I'm 20. I'm an aspiring producer. I I'm about to own my own apartment at 20, and I'm going for a car pretty soon. Um, going back to school for my love of music, and quite honestly, I don't, like it's one of those things where music with with me and music, it's like if I make it to like a level such as like commercialized Drake, Y Y M C M B, and I wouldn't be happy. So my dream is to 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 envelop a new sound that I feel and then spread it out there and see what the fuck happens but point blank period I'm drifting from the point point blank period I hate this stigma or this MO that black men seemingly enough get shifted into this little box like that's our MO like we're all fucking thugs and and and, and we all just wanna fuck and, and be like you know uh, deadbeat dads and we all want to go in the jail system like where the fuck do you people get your statistics and and truthfully if you do get your statistics and they're and they're accurate to to the the, the general population the census of the population the, the people who actually sign papers and and put their information out there why haven't you done enough fucking research outside of your little fucking small rock of a town to see that there are successful black men there are black men out there who who truthfully don't just want to fuck everything who don't want to want to be the stereotypical black man um anybody who knows me know i'm clearly at a stereotypical black man i don't and, and a lot of people say oh you act weird you know, no i don't fucking act weird i just act me so my dog is looking at me fun come here come here oh, bitch stay over there and um you know hmm. i need to quit this shit Quite honestly, it just doesn't make sense to me, like, how, 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 how young black females at that, who barely even scaled the top of, 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 of the relationship threshold, can automatically say, well, all oh, black guys this, and black guys that, Ask my mother, maybe, you know what I'm saying? She's 50-something. She's realized she doesn't like black men after 50 years. But to put that more in perspective sense, because she didn't start dating when she was one, more like after, let's say, 35 years, okay? 30, after 35 years, she's realized she doesn't like black men. So how can someone who's like 16, 17, 18, even from the 16 to 25 
barrier realize, oh, I don't like black men. Oh, well, they're all dogs. Or, hey, let's let's change let's change the spectrum. Let's jump over to Spanish men. How you have a lot of Spanish women who say, oh, I I don't date Spanish men. What the fuck are wrong? Maybe if you tend to realize that the motherfuckers you chase are all in that same cookie cutter cookie cutter mold where where they all hang around each other so there's no differenti differentiation between the motherfuckers that, that they hang around with and the motherfuckers you date they're all friends they all have the same characteristics why don't you look at that shit and say hmm instead of going that way I'll go this way and see what that Spanish guy that black guy that white guy and and this is not to say that Spanish should date Spanish or black should date black because at the end of the day interracial couples are beautiful and you should get whatever the fuck you want that makes you happy I don't give a fuck if it's a if it's a a bitch with three titties date her if she makes you happy if she got a lazy eye and she talk like that date her if she makes you happy but back to the, back to my point I'm trying to make is that it's so so sad how people get characterized by one male or one female in one race and that general bad feeling or bad experience can, can get flipped into how everybody in that race is just like that and um I'm about to close out this video because at this point in time you know I'm just kind of babbling here but uh I make videos like this every now and once in a while you know and uh definitely if you like to message me my Facebook link is somewhere on this page it could be up there or down there I, definitely probably down there so you know send a shout out whatever I don't give up <sighs> that is all from SWATSK1. Later.